Hello, wow, women of worship. My name is Linda Udicious, and I am coming to you with a now wow moment. This is a now word. It is so now that I didn't even get a chance to dry my hair. I didn't put on a stitch of makeup. I needed to come out of prayer and record this because it is fresh in my spirit. So I'm going to talk to you today. This is not a word that's going to tickle your ears. This is more of a warning. This is a correction. And uh, this is not a word of judgment, but just a word of wisdom for you. So I've been something that I've been noticing lately, and it's been bothering me. It's been in my spirit, just really bothering me, is I've been noticing some very well-meaning, God-fearing, good people, men and women on social media posting prayer requests. Now, I'm not against posting prayer requests on social media. I needed to do that. And I am not afraid to do that when I need to. But here's the warning. When you post a prayer request without being specific, it opens the door for people to pray anything that they want. It opens the door for suspicion in your life. It opens the door for naysayers. It opens the door for people to just speak whatever they want over your life because they have no direction. They have no clue as to what's going on. They're guessing. So I advise you to be very careful and, and, and use this word as a word of caution and how you post your prayer requests on social media. So my personal testimony, four years ago, my daughter was in a very horrible car accident. She was hit head on by an 18 wheeler down in Atlanta, Georgia. She almost died. They did not expect her to live. So my immediate response was to call every person that I knew that was, a, you know, that would pray, that knew how to pray, that would be believe with me, that loved me, that loved my daughter and believed with me for her to live and not to die. I um, called them immediately for them to agree with me in prayer. The next thing I did was... Um, I had a friend of mine, Sue, she would post things on social media, on Facebook, um, just giving updates and prayer requests. But there came a point in time where the Lord told me, stop posting on Facebook. He said, many have become gawkers and unbelievers. So I had to tell Sue, Sue, stop posting on Facebook. We need to have a specific group of people that we contact outside of social media, ones that we know that will pray and, um, and pray earnestly. So my advice to you is to not post general, I need prayer on social media. Please, please don't do that. It's just not a good idea. My biblical example that I want to share with you is what did Jesus do when he got to Jairus's home? Now Jairus's daughter died as Jesus was going to make his way to Jairus's home at Jairus's request. The first thing that Jesus did was he kicked out all the mourners, all the boo-hooers that, that were just around just to, to gawk and to to see how the parents were reacting to, to their daughter's death. Now, I imagine that some of them were probably very sympathetic and very um, uh, compassionate and understanding, and then they were there to support the, the family. But there are some that are there just to gawk. I'm telling you. So what did Jesus do? He only took in three of his disciples and the girl's parents. And when he said to, the, to all the mourners, all the people that were gathered, the gawkers and the, and whatever, he said, stop mourning, stop crying. She's not dead. She's just sleeping. And you know what they did? They laughed at him. They laughed at him because they didn't believe him. So be careful who you allow in your inner circle, who you allow to know your prayer request the Bible says to make your request known to God, not to all the social media, not to all the gawkers. Now, there's a time and a place for it, and I'll do it. I'll go on social media and say, I need prayer for this situation. And 
Then I'll give God glory because he answered the prayer. But most of the time, I'll call certain people that I know will pray and that I know will have my back and will agree with me in faith for God to, to, to answer our prayer. Another situation that happened was when Lazarus died. Now, Jesus could have gone right away and raised Lazarus from the dead like that. But he waited three days and then he said, okay, now let's go. Why did he wait three days? You know, there's a lot of speculation. There's a lot of good thought towards it because, you know, he wanted to make sure Lazarus was really dead. This was going to be a great miracle. And then he was going to call him forth when he was stinky, right? So, but here's another point of view on this. When he first died, when Lazarus died and they buried him in the tomb, who's there? The whole town, the whole city, everybody's there to mourn and to cry and to, um, to be there for Mary and Martha, Lazarus's sisters. But Jesus waited. And I think he waited till some of these people were out of there because those were the ones that were the unbelievers, the gawkers. And I'm telling you, once he arrived, he said, roll away the stone. And he called Lazarus to come forth, to come out. And he did. He came out. He came out wrapped in his grave clothes. But those, the, the people that had been gathered for the first three days, they were gone. They were out of there. Another situation that happened was when um, Jesus himself went to his hometown. And he it says in um, Mark that he could not do many miracles. Why? Because of their unbelief. They didn't believe. So be careful who you have around you, who you have praying for you. Be specific in your prayer requests so there's no room for um, prayers that 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 are out of place, you know. We don't want any prayers that are amiss, right? So you need to have specific people, even if it's one person that will agree with you in prayer, that will that you can um, count on, that you can trust, that you know will pray for you, that know that you know they will have your back. That's all it takes. So this is my word. That's all I have for you today. Thank you very much and have a blessed rest of your day.